In this section we're going to talk a little bit about estimation. Um, there's lots of ways to estimate uh, the result of an operation. Um, we're going to look at one particular way you could go about it and that is using what we call front-end rounding. Um, and kind of think of front-end rounding as a method of estimation you might use uh, say in a store when you're trying to quickly figure out um, if you have enough money in your wallet to buy um, a number of items. Um, that might be one area you do is front-end rounding. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to round each number to its highest place value before performing any operations. So this type of estimation is, uh, is going to ask us to do our rounding before the operation, which, which makes sense because the point of estimating, um, at least in part, is to um, quickly get a general idea for what the answer should be. Um, and so, of course, we'd want to make the numbers simpler before doing whatever operation we're asked to do. So in this first example it says estimate this sum using front-end rounding. And so let me start by writing the numbers that we have here um, using our vertical notation. So if I wasn't going to estimate and I was just going to add, this is what it would look like. But what front end rounding says is let's take each number and round it to its highest place value. Okay, So the highest place value of 7,148 is the thousands place. So I look at the thousands place and notice that the test digit, the one to the right, is 1. So that means we're going to leave a 7 in the thousands place and we're going to zero everything else out. The hundreds place is the biggest digit in this number, so that's my rounding digit. My test digit is 7, so that tells me to bump my 6 up to a 7 in the hundreds place and put zeros after that. 3,499. The thousands place is my highest place value. That's my rounding digit. And so the test digit in this case is 4. So that means leave it as a 3 and zero everything else out. And then finally, the hundreds place is my rounding digit. My test digit is 9, so that means bump this up 1. But of course, you can't bump 9 up 1 without adding another digit. So what 995 rounds to in terms of the nearest 100 is 1,000. So then we can add these up rather quickly because we just get two rows of zeros. This row, or this column, sorry, only has a 7 in it. And add those up and you get 11. So our estimation uh, for this sum is 11,700. And just for your information here, how much did we miss the actual one amount by? The actual sum is 12,314. So we are definitely in the neighborhood, relatively speaking. Let's try one with multiplication. So we would set up 729 times 76. Um, and this is what we would what we would have if we were just multiplying the two numbers uh, directly, but we're going to estimate using the front end rounding. So this is my highest value in 729. This is a 2, so I'll leave that as a 7 and zero everything else out. So this is 700. The tens place is the highest in this number, and this is a 6, so I'm going to bump that up to an 8. So I end up with just 700 times 80. I know that when there's a 0 here, I can just put a 0 down there. And then 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 7 is 56. So my estimated product of those two numbers is 56,000. And then just for your information, if you work this product out, what we should get is 55,000. 404. 
So again, relatively speaking, we're in the neighborhood with this front end rounding. 